what's going on guys it's omni arc and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be giving you a ton of updates on my account and kingdom 1643 finally went imperium now in this video i want to open up 232 gold keys we got nine crystal keys 101 kingdom supply chests because that's right kingdom versus kingdom is on the horizon we're only a couple of days away here we're in the final stage of the eve of the crusade and a lot of things have changed but the elephant in the room is that it's been over two weeks i think since my last video and i want to address that really quickly because well because i just feel really bad about it and i feel like i kind of just abandoned you guys like oh my god you're probably thinking did Omniar quit does he still play rise of kingdoms is he not going to upload anymore or, or or does he is he not going to stream anymore um guys honestly the reality of the situation is that uh, life is just so crazy right now and on top of that i just don't know what what types of content to make uh i'm just being straight up with you guys i enjoy making guide content for this game but i feel like i've covered pretty much everything uh to my knowledge and any other bits and pieces are things that are already covered by every other rise of kingdoms youtuber 10 times over so maybe i'm not approaching content from the correct lens right now just giving everything else that's going on in my life but that's kind of where i'm at so if you guys have any burning suggestions things that you need omniarch to cover then go ahead and put them in the comment section below because i feel like i've covered every single epic i've covered different events i've covered the legendaries that i'm most comfortable using and the ones that i'm most comfortable recommending and up until now we haven't had any kvk footage either so we're going to be going into kvk now so that's exciting but let me know now the other update that I want to talk about is I did hit 70 million power. So shout out to me. We broke 70 million. It took a while. I was holding back on my power gains and I still have a ton of speed ups and things that I can use to boost my power even more for a particular mightiest governor in the future. But I broke 70 million and you can see right now that the pre KVK Eve of the Crusade stage three, my kingdom or the kingdom 1643. I don't want to say my kingdom. It's the kingdom that I'm in. Okay. I'm a nobody in this kingdom, uh, but we have absolutely dominated every other their kingdom here and honestly uh the reason that we push so hard is because everybody in my kingdom has kind of been holding back on their power for a while um and also we're going up against kingdom 1636 which if you guys didn't know uh, they have basically they're the winners of the realm of anubis for the osiris osiris league so yeah we're going up against these guys they're absolutely savages so we know that we have a really tough kvk ahead of us although judging by the pre kvk numbers between first place being us second place being our allies then third place it's it's going to be a good kvk right it, it, there's no doubt about it uh n no one's going down without a super bloody fight so this is going to be a really interesting kvk i hope i hope it's super entertaining uh it could be the case that just people just don't show up to fight right uh that's always that's always a possibility with kvk but um i'm i'm excited i hope this is going to be a really exciting kvk um my the kingdom that i'm in has performed incredibly well here you can see my individual score is absolutely atrocious compared to some of the others here this dude man like bro like are you hiring like where do you work like what can you please i need okay okay calming down calming down I, I, I got to do some more Marauder for, forts, okay? We got we got stuff to do today, but regardless, I wanted to give you guys that update. Pre-KVK is coming to a close, which means KVK is upon us. It will be Season 3, Light versus Darkness, and with all the powering up that everybody has done, we have finally reached Imperium. I know we were holding off trying to not be Imperium for the longest time, but now that we're in KVK against an Imperium, it's like we might as well go imperium right so this is uh 36 we're going up against them and yeah this is gonna be uh this is gonna be a really interesting kvk i hope and a lot has happened in the game since i made my last video i mean we saw the reveal of two new archer commanders and if you guys want i can make a video talking about what i think about them again every other rise of kingdoms youtuber has already done that so if you want me to let me know but i just feel like i'm kind of beating a dead horse at this point but regardless um a lot has changed now i'm very excited about the position that my account is in because I have 626 Universal Legendary Commander Sculptures here, which is absolutely insane. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly to do with them because I'm at a really weird point in 
in in this kingdom's life cycle where i don't have nearly enough sculptures to make attila takeda in in a reasonable amount of time so i'm probably not even going to go for them we got the guan wheel coming up so i'm going to blow probably all 142,000 of my gems on that guan wheel so i don't want to invest in him just yet but we also i could go for ramses right or i could get my 5551 saladin and then just hold off until william comes and then maybe expertise william i'm not sure what my plan is going to be but i'm hoarding these legendary commander sculptures and honestly i'm i'm thinking about i'm gonna go probably for theodora yss and then eventually zenobia that's probably gonna be the route that i go i'm not really sure yet but uh that seems like the most reasonable route especially because i'm kind of in a good position to push theodora's mightiest governor like a like a psychopath because we still have like a bunch of days before she comes around but anyway i just wanted to give you guys those updates uh i didn't quit the game i didn't quit creating content um it's just the fact that i don't know what types of content i should be making because i feel like it's already been done like what, what what more do i have to bring to the table other than me maybe just being a little bit more energetic or a little bit more uh excited or um i don't know entertaining i don't know do you guys think i'm entertaining i would hope so if you're watching anyway before we do the gold keys before we do the equipment chests let's actually do the kingdom supply chests because these have been sitting in my inventory for like I don't know almost a week at this point i feel like and it and it's just it's it's killing me so we got to open these up we got to see what we get now if you guys have seen chiskel made a video recently talking about how marauders are the best use of your ap uh i think everybody pretty much already knew that but he basically broke it down mathematically and was like yes this is true so now we know uh but this is the reason that marauders are so good um i had i think i opened like nine of these before i started hoarding them because i was like oh maybe i'll make a video about it so here we go we're gonna open all 101 together let's go ahead and do this 101 kingdom supply chest let's go ahead and hit use so there we go so we've got 10 million wood right off the bat that's pretty cool thank god man thank god we got three universal epic commander sculptures that's so good okay super happy about that 440,000 experience sounds like a lot but really that's not much at all so this is 4.2 million gold right here this is 4.6 million gold we got 900 gems this is nuts 705,000 individual credits which i already had over 5 million so that's a lot the brand new starlight sculptures are basically just individual credits at this point for me 13 and a half million wood over here which is great this is 4.3 days of speed ups if everybody if anybody's keeping track two and a quarter million stone we got 400 more gems over here what is this this is 1150 gems 15 days of speed ups baby let's go we got six gold stars as whatever couple of experienced tombs who cares about that but that's 900,000 we got uh, 1.5 million food we got two more days of speed ups love that this is 3.6 days of speed ups here nine and a half million food we got three more gold keys and seven and a half million stones so we got a ton of goodies overall we got 2450 gems i don't actually know if that's a lot but we did get a lot of days of speed up so i don't know how this breaks down if you guys are more uh, familiar with the drop rate chances here you can tell me in the comments if this is a if this is a good spread or if this is a terrible one i'm not really sure but uh regardless i'm pretty excited Ooh, let's pop over all these gems just so we can add it to the total make that look even bigger dude all right let's jump over to the tavern we're gonna open up this silver chest first we're gonna get the bad luck out of the way so there it is actually that wasn't bad for a silver chest i mean you can't really expect much right it could have been all green stars let's open up the equipment chest we got nine of these so we're gonna have to do these individually because i don't have a full 10. um nothing too exciting there let's see uh we got some materials anytime i get materials is pretty cool but really we're looking for purples and and legendary uh equipment out of these that's really what you're looking for there we go which is lineage i only have three of these and i need more uh i need a witch's lineage i need like two more of these helmets right and, and i'm getting not enough drops so that's good that's exciting this is useless all that's pretty much useless all that gray stuff is garbage all this is garbage i'll take the iron and the leather of course the ebony as well okay that wasn't actually i guess bad because it was all good there we go dark lord's blessing i need this i need to make this three blueprints amazing i love that uh let's keep popping these open oh that was the last one okay um it is what it is nothing crazy here all right now the part that i've been patiently waiting for for a while 235 gold keys i don't even remember when i started hoarding these it was like maybe at the beginning of this lucerne scrolls it doesn't feel like it was that long but i've been wanting to pop this open forever because uh 
I really want to get more Mulan. I have negative 16 Mulan sculptures right now. So hello, we need more Mulan. That's the main thing that we're looking for here. Also, I would love Caesar, Mehmed, or El Cid. El Cid would be the best one, probably. Uh, Mulan, first spot. El Cid, the next one. Not that I'm going to use El Cid, but just like out of all of them, I guess El Cid, then Mehmed, and then Caesar, probably, are the, the order that which I want those. Um, and then, of course, like the Gatherers, I don't, uh, Cleopatra's expertise, so I don't care about her, but the other ones, I guess, is fine. Um, Sunduk is, is, is the best one, in my opinion, uh, because her expertise is so good. But if we could just get like five full summons of Mulan, that'd be great. So let's go ahead and uh, do, yeah, it's not going to happen, by the way. It's not going to happen. But let's go ahead and pop these all open. And uh, I'm not even going to, I'm, I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. We're, we're going to start with the, we're going to start with the trash first. All right, so we got 173,000 experience. We got the 400,000 experience here. So, okay, we got a decent amount of experience. I'll take that. Only 64 hours of universal speed ups. I really would have hoped for more, but 2.6 days, I guess that's not that bad. We got some wood, we got some food. I never realized that you actually don't get stone or gold in these. That's kind of annoying. But anyway, all these purple stars are basically individual credits for me. So we'll go through and we'll maybe we'll redeem those in this video too. We only got a single blessed dazzling. So that's crazy. We got eight bundles, which is awesome. And 48 regular stars. So I'm in the near future. I'm probably going to run out of stars, even though I have a boatload. Like I have, I could probably expertise three commanders, three legendaries right now. All that's they're they're hard to come by so soon i'll probably need these which is fine um now we have the blue trash nobody cares about that uh wow gaius really loves me huh this is the rest of the spread for the epics absolute trash no one cares about any of this the only good thing is that even the crusade you know we're gonna be able to trade these in soon so that's fine but regardless garbage so there we go baby there we go we are almost out of mulan debt we we have at this rate i don't know if i scroll up maybe we'll see but i have i'm at negative one mulan so we're almost out of mulan debt thank god for that um what do we have here we have four mehmed could have done better 22 ishida now now uh, you may be thinking that that's bad i would have rather 22 mehmed don't get me wrong but uh, I have an expertise to Shia, so that's going to be good. 19 Sunduk, same thing. Have an expertise to her, so thank God for that. The four Cleopatra, useless. The three Charles Martel, useless. This just goes to show that I feel like Charles Martel has the worst drop rate. I just feel like he does, okay? Let's just be real here. I feel like he's got a trash drop rate. Let's just let's just call it how it is. Lilith, just, just say it. Just tell us that you made Charles Martel hard to get, okay? Just, just tell us. He's the best one. We know he's the best one. Just tell him that you made him hard. We got eight El Cid. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's scroll up here. Okay. Okay, we literally got four and a half Mulan full summons. I, I wanted five and I was just kidding, but we got four and a half. Okay, that's actually crazy. I can't believe that. That's super good luck. That's super good luck. We also got eight Cao Cao, useless, seven Frederick. I messed up my Frederick forever ago. I'm probably never going to use him in, in ages until he's expertise. We got 11 Caesar. It is what it is. The three Mulan though, let's freaking go boys. Let's go. We got... 45 Mulan sculptures. That's really good. We got one full summon of Mehmed, which is fine. Again, I just I just want him expertise. No reason. I just want him expertise. And then we got 30 more Ashita. So we got 55 Ashita from this pull. That's pretty nuts. Let's see what we can do as far as skills go. So apparently we can put three skills on these commanders. We'll see who it is. It's not Sunduk. That's surprising. Wow, we still need a lot more to go for her. I could expertise her, though. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to use universals on her. Don't worry. Wow, we're one away from, from another skill on El Cid. That breaks my heart, but hopefully soon. Uh, we still can't do anything with Caesar. How close are we with him? Oh, we're far away. Okay, we, 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 we basically just put a skill on him, apparently. Um, we can do uh, we can do one skill on Ashida, so it actually doesn't matter which one it goes to here. Wow, we're close to a second one. Um... Oh, we got okay that's actually a good one i'll take that this last one is is stupid so that's fine i'll take the increased load that that's good that means i bring basically less siege to the nodes which is fine uh we can add another skill to mehmed which is exciting okay we're 12 over that's awesome let's hope it goes in this last one just because why not there it is boys let's freaking go uh, i'm probably not going to use him for really anything unless he's expertise then maybe i'll rally a city with him but probably never um and and again i'm not going to use universals on him so the chances of me expertising him in any reasonable amount of time is none but anyway freddy we're still uh we're still pretty far away and he's still pretty much garbage so we're never gonna we're never gonna expertise him it's a bummer and here we go from negative from negative 16 to putting a skill on her, boys. We're one sculpture away. We're one sculpture away. I kind of want to just do it, man. I kind of just want to use that universal. Now, I, I'm going to hold, I'm going to have restraint. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna have willpower. We're not doing it, but so close to working on her second skill. So that is exciting. I also wanted to use those gold keys before, like they eventually put Lubu in there, which I don't know if they're ever going to, but after this event, I feel like maybe in six months, they'll just throw them in there. Cause why not? And honestly, I don't like Lubu. So let's just open all the gold keys before they put them in there. That way there's not a chance of me getting him. Wow. So, okay. So we got, um, four challenges for looser and scrolls from doing that. So let's claim all these. That's some, that's some nice little value we got there. Uh, let's see. What is this open 15 golden chests? Easy peasy. We absolutely just did that. Let's see what week three is seven epics done deal boys done deal. I love it. Let's see what the week two was one legendary and the 35 gold chests. Easy. We completed both those. No problem. Wow. Look at all the good stuff. Look at all the good stuff we got here. We got a legendary commander sculpture. I'll take that. Actually, let's just claim all that. Let's open up that last gold key. You want to know why? Because if it's a, if there's any Mulan or there's any El Cid, that means we get to put another skill on them. So let's see. Of course not. Why would we end the video on a good note? Why? Right? Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you made it all the way to the end, I would really appreciate dropping a thumbs up on the video. Again, comment down below any questions that you have about Rise of Kingdoms. If you guys want me to make a video about something, let me know because I am just out of ideas. I feel like I've covered literally everything. So please, feedback is welcome. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. As always, my social media links are in the description below, so make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and Twitch. I do post way more on like my Instagram story and stuff like that than I do here on YouTube. So make sure you go ahead and follow me over there for days where I'm not uploading. And finally, there's a link in the description to download Rise of Kingdoms absolutely for free for your PC or your Mac. It's a program called Blue Stacks, and it's my favorite way to play Rise of Kingdoms. KVK is coming up and I want the least amount of crashes and I know the Blue Stacks is the best way for me. Like I said, it's free, so make sure you click that link. Just give it a try. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.